Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1093. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video we have some descriptions and we need to get the date out of the description into a column. Now we could do this with a formula, and every time I try to do data extraction from the middle of a text string, I I have like 10 different ways I can do it, and it's never the most efficient. Ah, but no problem. If we don't need a formula, if we don't need to make it automatic, we can use text to columns. Now, we'll come back to the formula in just a moment. But text to columns is absolutely easy. Now, either if we're using a formula or text to columns, we still have to recognize a pattern. And it looks like the date is between dashes. Let's go ahead and highlight this column, and you use that dash as a delimiter. That means a separator between different bits of data, and use text to column. Data, text to columns. Or we can use the keyboard in 2007 or later, Alt-A-E. All right, so there's our delimiter, it, some character. Click Next. We're going to, whoops, it usually comes up like this, right? There is no delimiter, right? So it's all one thing. We uncheck this. We say other. And I'm going to type a dash. And instantly, we can see that preview. Now, there's some spaces here, but we'll deal with that in the next step. Now, the cool thing about this step is we can choose whichever column we want and say skip it. We don't want it. Skip it. We don't want it. Now, we want this one because it's, there's that space there. I'm going to say, hey, import it as a date month, year, date. Now, I don't want to replace this column of descriptions with the date, so I'm going to very carefully say the destination is boop, right there. And when I click Finish, just like that, we have our dates. That is a lot easier than a formula solution. I'm going to use Substitute. And the problem is there's two different dashes. So if we used Search to search for the position of that dash, well, it can find the first one. So I need to find the second one. So I'm going to actually use Substitute. And Substitute to, has an option to say which instance. So when we get to that, we'll say number two. All right, so the text, that's this, comma, the old text I'm looking for is double quote, dash, double quote. And the new text I want to insert is something different than any of our descriptions. So I'm going to use like the caret or circumflex, comma, and now I'm going to say two. Right? So we've recognized the pattern. There's always going to be two dashes. And now we want to put that there and substitute it in. March 1st, so 2014, circumflex I'm going to turn off Speak Cells on Enter. So now we have a have inserted or substituted a character. Now I'm going to find out the position of that by using search. Search, I'm going to say, hey, search for a caret, comma, within that text. Control Enter, double click, and send it down. Now, that'll tell me 32. I actually want to back out. That would be 31 and 30, so I'm going to subtract 2. And that will tell me the last character of the date, or the position in this text string of the last character in the date. Now I'm going to use the left and say, hey, go from the left and only give me that much, which will remove everything at the end. So left, boop, of that. How many characters? There you go. We'll try that. Control Enter. Notice I put it, had it highlighted. It was in edit mode. I edited the formula. In the active cell, Control Enter populates that down. So I'm, I got the date at the end. Now I'm going to use replace. I'm going to, in essence, say, hey, replace, go from number one to where the dash is and replace it with zero and all that will be, or nothing and all that will be left is the date. So I'm going to say replace. There's the old text, comma. The starting position is starting position 1. The number of characters, well, I can just use search and search for, in double quotes, a dash within this original text over here, because it'll just find that first one. Close parentheses. Now, that will find the position right there. And I want it to go one more, so I'm going to add 1. Right, So now we have starting position 1, number of characters, however many. That is F9. That's 22. So now we can simply say in our final argument, what's the new text? Double quote, double quote. It'll just remove everything. Close parentheses, Control Enter. Aha, there's our date, but it is text. Any of these F2, 
replace, left, right, search, all those kind of things spit out text. So we're simply going to do some math operation like plus 0. And that will convert it back to a date. Oh, but it's a serial number. That's pretty cool. It took that text and made it a serial number. Control 1 to format cells, date. Click OK. And so now we have our dates. There are other possibilities for formulas. Here's another one. If you got a good idea, let's see, I used five functions here, five functions there. Go ahead and post it down in the comments. All right, we'll see you next trick.